blessings of God, the most merciful. This is Amir Sultan, QHC Business International Chief Executive Officer, CEO. I hope you are following on my videos. Today I will be talking on chapter number 298. Before I proceed to chapter number 298, I would like all of you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and press the bell button after being there. Moreover, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn and Twitter. Thank you so much. Chapter number 298 is about ISO 45001-2018 health and safety management system standard, which is very important and imperative for the organizations to apply it properly. In this standard, how things are comes up and how uh, the things are um, uh, implicated uh, properly, uh, we, I will, we will discuss this uh, today. First of all, uh, we will discuss about the standard. Standard starts with the clause number 4, which is context of the organization, in which we will discuss about the internal and external issues of the interested parties with respect to health and safety management system, in which all the internal external issues with respect to that organization for health and safety are discussed, written down, and documented appropriately. Then comes down the need and expectation of the interested parties. In the need and expectation of the interested parties, we will discuss about the needs and expectation of all the variables which need to be defined for health and safety and list down their need and expectation appropriately. Then comes on the scope of the environment, uh, health and safety management system and that need to be made for that organization with, uh, with respect to the guidelines of ISO 45001-2018. Then we will discuss in about the um, uh, health and safety policy. In the health and safety policy, we will list down uh, how the uh, health and safety policy is uh, uh, documented and written properly. In this, uh, the important thing which need to be mentioned is that how the management is committed in giving appropriate health and safety facilities to their employees, how the um, uh, health, uh, health and safety has its importance in the organization, how the company is spending uh, um, uh, money on um, giving uh, um, uh, uh, health and safety uh, uh, development, research and development for long term, how the company has a plan of giving trainings uh, and development to the employees of the uh, organization with respect to health and safety, how the leadership is playing a role in giving the um, uh, health and safety due importance, how the context of the organization of the, uh, uh, of the uh, context of the organization is properly addressed uh, with respect to health and safety, how the uh, visitors, contractors and members of the public are treated uh, with respect to health and safety whenever they uh, arrive in the, in the premises of the organization, how the, uh, uh, the uh, electricity, high usage of electricity, gas and water are controlled with respect to health and safety, how the uh, uh, proper uh, uh, incidents and accidents are controlled to uh, achieve zero LTA by using proper appropriate measures by the organization with respect to health and safety, how the health and safety uh, domestic and international laws are implemented in the organizations to make it safe and sound for long term and many more. These all things are discussed in the health and safety management policy uh, for ISO 45001-2018 for the organization and this is then followed up by the uh, uh, leadership. In the leadership, uh, 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 the, 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 the commitment of the management is uh, written down how the management leadership is committed to give health and safety uh, 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 proper facilities to the employees and to have a proper system of health and safety in the organization. Then we will be discussing about the planning and how the planning of the health and safety is done, how the budget is allocated, how it is spent, how it is implemented, how the outcome of that is coming up. Then we will be discussing about the communication, about internal and external communication with respect to health and safety for that organization. Then we will be discussing about the document control uh, about the, uh, about for the specific organization with respect to health and safety, how the control documents are used how the distribution of the document is used, how the receiving of the document is done, all the things are mentioned in this. Then we followed by up the, uh, with the operations uh, uh, management, how the operation management with respect to health and safety is done. Then we discuss about the monitoring and measurement with respect to health and safety. Uh, we will discuss about the emergency preparedness and response. We discuss about the internal audit with respect to health and safety. We discuss about the management review. Uh, with respect to health and safety, how management review agenda is done, how management review is conducted, how it is its output is done uh, properly written down and documented, and which is this is followed by the by non-conformities and corrective action cards of the or with respect to health and safety, how they are done, how they are initiated, how they are completed, how they are followed up, and the improvement with respect to health and safety.
Now, uh, I will be uh, um, glancing through you the, um, uh, the mandatory documents which are required to be uh, used uh, for health and safety manual system ISO 45001 2018. First of all, health and safety policy. Then comes up health and safety objectives, they should be smart, specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time bound. Then comes up health and safety SOPs, which should be more than 30 at least for any organization. And it depends upon the size of the organization and the processes, how many uh, SOPs uh, need to be uh, written down. Then comes down uh, the uh, JDs, competency criteria. We have to, uh, have to have information about the PPs. We need to have information about fire extensions. Uh, firefighting, first first aid, first fire, first aid, uh, first aiders. We have to have a training uh, uh, proper document, master list of trainings. We need to have master list of documents in which uh, with the control uh, uh, things uh, present for all the documents. We need to have a, 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 a the internal audit for the health and safety, how it is done, how it is communicated, how it is, how the findings are done, how it is, the report is done, how it is followed up. We have to write down about the uh, management review, uh, complete agenda and its write-up and report. We have to have uh, non-conformities and corrective action, how these are raised, how they are solved out. Uh, we have to have a discussion about the improvement. We need to have uh, 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 details about the operations of the health and safety. We need to have information about the permit to work, how this is done. We need to have uh, uh, information about ergonomics, how the ergonomics is controlled how uh, it promise is applied property we need to apply uh, the ILO uh, uh, convention C155 recommendation R164 laws in the organization how they implement it we have to have information of all the incident accident going on in the organization to achieve zero LTA so that there should be no near miss no dangerous accident no incident no accident we have to have information about the uh, uh, emergency lights we need to have information over assembly point uh, we have need to have information about the um, um, uh, 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 fire blankets, fire extensions uh, like DCP, uh, AFFF, CO2, water, wet, all these type of fire extensions, how they are used, how the proper fire extension according to the requirements need to be placed. For example, DCP fire extension can be used for any type of fire except uh, kitchen fire. AFFF can be used for solid and liquid fire. CO2 can be used for liquid and uh, electricity fire and uh, uh, water can be used for the solid fire and wet can be used for the kitchen. These should be placed according to the requirements of the standard uh, about the fire station and their placement. And there are so many things which need to be done for the ISO 45001-2018. If you need more details, summary, analysis, reports, recognition, you can contact me from anywhere in the world at plus nine two double three five seven three four seven four double zero and you can reach me on my another number at plus nine two three one four six three nine seven double nine zero and you can reach me on my three email addresses at Ahmed Sultan Rana at Yahoo.com second email is Ahmed Sultan Rana digit one at gmail.com third email is uh, contact at qhscbusinessinternational.com and even you can reach me on my company website at www.qhscbusinessinternational.com thank you so much